All right, Brad, today we're going to show you the good folks out there the best exercises, exercises they can do for in bed for hip and knee arthritis. Excellent, Bob. So you're saying right out of bed in the morning they should right. be done? Not out of bed, in bed. In bed, right. And then maybe later on in the day just in case it's nap time. Take, that's right. <laughs> just saying. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, Brad, many people out there don't know that your knees have a natural lubricant, like oil. WD-40, perhaps. Right. What is it called? Synovial fluid. Synovial fluid, fluid exactly. The body produces it, and uh, it helps lubricate and supply nutrients to the joint so it stays healthy. Very good. Mm. Your anatomy is did, excellent. Did my homework, yes. So uh, the thing is about these fluids, synovial fluid, if you're not moving at night, which you most people aren't, um, it begins to thicken like molasses. Oh, the viscosity goes up. up. Yeah. We, we. And that makes joints feel stiff. Yes. And it also causes them to make them creak. Well, yeah, it's just like your car on a cold winter day. It's right. the oil it stiff and it's start. hard to turn it over in the morning. All right. The second thing, Brad, is the hip and knee stop making additional synovial fluid once they're not moving. So movement generates the production of more fluid. Sure, sure. And when you're, again, sleeping, unless you got Russell's leg syndrome or something like that, you're not moving. Right. So we don't have the stimulation. The body says shut down a little bit, slow down, and uh, there you go. That's why exercise is good. Yes. And it's good to warm up mm. and to exercise to warm up the right. knee and hip and ankle joint, and it'll break down the synovial fluid mm -hmm. that's thickened, and it'll produce more synovial fluid. It's like a revolving healthy door thing. Right. Or, or uh, re positive reinforcement. Yeah, yeah. We, right. Whatever. You guys know what we're talking about. <laughs> okay. First, we're going to show you a, a product that works really well in bed. Then we're going to also show you some uh, exercise you don't need the product. But uh, this product is called the Fit Glide. Glide. And it's for both legs. It works really well in bed. Yeah, it's we'll, really lightweight. It is. It's about five pounds. And you put your feet on it. You don't have to have your shoes on. You can do it with uh, out shoes. Bob, are you ready for this? Am I good? Yep, you're good. Okay. Now, you will have to adjust it. Hold on, Bob. I'm going to move it out right there. It right. might be a little better for you. There you go. And what it does is allows smooth, easy motion while in bed so you can get the knees and the hips are really getting the primary motion there. It's like you have a bike in bed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oops. Oh, there you go. Good. If you had your shoes off, you'd probably be right. able to feel that, uh, right. that where you're at. So you, you probably do this to start out with for a minute or two, but you can go as long as you feel right. comfortable. It'll warm things up and it'll break down that fluid. All right. It and gets you ready for weight bearing and walking around. Right. By the way, Brad, we should mention uh, the Fit Glide is this week's giveaway. If oh. you go to bobandbrad.com, go to the giveaway yes. section, yes. and you can sign up for a free one. There you go. Ship it right to your house. Right. So I, if you don't have the thick glide, we're going to show you three exercises to do to warm up the knees and hips. Right. We'll start off with the windshield wipers, Brad. The old windshield wipers. You can't go wrong with that. It's real nice. It works yeah. the hips and even a little bit of the you low back. Your, yep. You bring your feet together, your knees together, and you just clean the windshields. Yep. It's... uh. You know, make sure that your shoulders stay stationary. Uh, Not going like this. Right. And you can see the hips are rotating slightly, so the low back gets some um, range of motion. Okay, and uh, that's primary thing, and the hips. Right. The knees are, are not getting range at this point. Now, this next one, you could do, if you're strong enough, you could go ahead, just lift it up like this, and get the hip and knee flexion. There you go. But if you're not strong enough, Go ahead, take a belt yes. or a roll sheet and just go like, yep. help yourself. Yeah, you know, I've worked with a lot of patients for whatever reason, they're elderly or uh, have hip issues that, uh, you know, they need a little assistance and it works out well. You're getting some nice knee range of motion as right. well as hip here. So it's a double, double benefit uh, exercise. Again, that motor oil is... Yeah, you're starting to get it loosened up. Right. Okay, last one, 
you get sit up on the edge of the bed and you're just gonna bend and straighten the knees. And for repetitions for these last two, you know, 10 is a good number. If you want to do more, that's fine. Right. But shoot for at least 10. This is a great one to do at your desk too, Ben. Yep, exactly. Especially if you've been sitting for a while and it's time to get up and go for a walk. Or you want to kick, kick your neighbor. Yeah, well, yeah. Bob, we'll... Uh, Violence, <clears throat> we don't condone it. Right? Yeah, right, right, whatever. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> All right, why, Brad, Bob, I can why? fix just about anything. <laughs> Except for... A broken heart. That's right. Yeah. Well, if Brad would get to work on it. Yeah, I, I worked on it last night for a while, but I fell asleep. <laughs> Take care.